depression rates tripled in American adults in 2020, and the numbers continue to rise. 2020 was, in scholarly and scientific terms, a nightmare time. I know for me personally, I got COVID and got dumped by my therapist. I mean, luckily I did have two therapists because the first therapist was all like, you need to change or whatever. And I thought, I think I need a second opinion. Maybe I need a third therapist. I don't have to talk about the numerous ways that we have all suffered individually and collectively over the past couple of years. And the way the world is right now, I mean, it feels like there's nothing to laugh about. But I'm here to tell you that there is. You just have to find the funny. Research shows that using humor is a cognitive shift in perspective that allows you to distance yourself from the current threat of a problem and see things in a new way. Studies link laughter with an increased tolerance and pain and show that humor and laughter promote energy and hope while giving people a sense of empowerment and control. They do say that laughter is the best medicine, which it isn't get vaccinated but you know it's a close second 2020 showed us a lot about how we do things and how maybe we should do them differently now is a great time to reshift your perspective to find things funnier one way to do this is to put yourself out of your comfort zone try new things because that is where surprise and humor live i have always struggled with my weight Anytime someone wanted me to do a fitness class, that was a hard no from me. I thought I'd be too awkward, it would be embarrassing, I would not succeed at it. But recently I tried to change those habits and I reached out to my friends who are very supportive. They told me every time you go to the bathroom, do 10 squats. And that really did help me cut down on drinking water. I'm very dehydrated, but you know, the, the point is that looking at what was funny about trying like the very difficult process of changing my body and my habits actually helped me do it. Because when you look at things as what's funny about these situations, it helps you be more brave. Because you're not looking at like, I will succeed or I will fail. You're looking at it like I will experience something and I will find the humor and the weirdness if it doesn't go exactly as I had it planned. In the spirit of trying new things, I recently took an accidental one-on-one -on -one bump and grind class. Yeah, I showed up and me and the instructor were standing there, we're waiting on the rest of the people to show up because it was a group class um, and then no one did. And eventually we were just like, I guess we're, do we're doing this, okay. And let me tell you that staring at another person's butt as they move it suggestively and you're supposed to like emulate that for fitness purposes is weird enough when there are also other people doing that thing. You know, when you can hide behind someone else. Um, it's different. One-on-one. -on -one. It's different. You know, and this poor woman, like I'm the only mirror to reflect back if she's teaching this class correctly. She probably wanted to quit her job, but... I don't think she did, but the point is we laughed a lot during about how weird it was. And I could have looked at that like, you know, never taking another workout class again because that was terrible. But instead I found what was funny about it and what was absurd about it. And it helped me continue on and look at it like actually a successful venture. So if there's anything that you want to do, but you're worried, like you'll embarrass yourself or you'll fail at it. Don't think of it like that. Just think, I'll try it. And if it doesn't go exactly smoothly, there'll be something funny that comes out of it. Work has been very different lately. People have been working remotely, worried about their jobs, changing jobs, and it's a very stressful time for all of us. I'm an educator, and like many other fields, we had to completely redefine what we even thought of as success. And it's stressful when like you're worried about not only your own mental health and well-being, but those of others, you know, your students or your employees or your coworkers. And it seems like there's nothing funny about work at all, but you have to look for it. You know, whether it's Joe standing up a little bit too far on the Zoom meeting and we see his Ant-Man pajamas, or it's the weird silly mask that someone is wearing at work. 
you know, one of my students did a speech about how to make moonshine. And, you know, since I learned how to do that, I found a lot of things funnier. So you just have to look for it. Looking for what's funny actually really helps you be present and connected in to the moment that's happening. Some people suggest meditation for that, and I think that's a great idea. When I meditate, I just think about french fries and fall asleep, but it helps you connect in to look for what's funny. Um, because think about, you know, a joke structure is a setup and a punchline. It's a setup of like, what is the world? How is it? And a punchline, what could be different about it? What could be surprising about it? And to do that, you have to pay attention to what's actually happening and plug in and connect. And it really helps you stay grounded and present. You don't have to be a comedian or even think of yourself as particularly funny in order to find what's funny about the situation. You just have to look for it. It's important that you think about laughter as self-care. Don't think laughter is something that will or may not happen that day. As something that you can get to later if you have time for it. You have to really be intentional about injecting it into your life every single day. You have to give yourself permission to stop doom scrolling and actually watch your favorite comedy show or movie. Curate your social media feed to follow people that you find funny. It's really important that you do that, that you think of it as something that you actively have to seek out. Every day you should think, did I laugh today? What did I find funny? Because laughter is like a real-time gratitude journal entry for the weirdness of the universe. Now, I'm not suggesting that everything is funny. There are some things that the only response is rage, sadness, doing something to fix a problem. But that doesn't mean you should ignore the bits of laughter that you have in your life. In fact, you should seek them out harder because of that. They say that comedy is tragedy plus time. So what I'm saying is if you didn't find this funny, just watch it again later.